Yeah, she can just draw this as she was listening to the online book club. Yeah, let's applaud to Sister Raisi for her wonderful cartoon. Now we're going to move on to the positive to the call out for the immediate blessings. We are very grateful for Brother Wen Hanzhou from Indonesia. In here. Okay. okay, next uh, for our call out today is from Indonesia, uh, Brother Zhou Wenhan. This is the uh, tenth anniversary uh, of Chichin in Indonesia. 199 people joined the performance. All the aunties and uncles will support you in your back. We will support you always. The 10th anniversary of Chichin in Indonesia. All the people uh, want to send this uh, beautiful gift to Master Zhen Yan, to our Grandmaster. You have seen Wen Han now, so we will call out. Uh, okay, another one is the uh, about the adaptation of the Sutra of uh, Infinite Meaning, Sutra of Infinite Meaning. That was uh, year 2013. But now Indonesia is already uh, 20 years. So we can see now is the uh, Sutra of Infinite Meaning uh, adaptation performance. Everyone study the sutra and then practice the sign language. For me, Suji is not just a charity organization, but it's also an assembly uh, for us to become a better person. Isn't uh, Brother so very cute? Now it's two, 2019. That's the, the film. So we can see now is the uh, whatever Taiwan is doing, uh, Indonesia is doing the same thing. So, Master said, uh, Indonesia is the place that, that uh, she feels very comfortable with. Through the simulation room with that people to uh, learn our charity uh, visiting uh, mission. The exception can get more people to understand Suji. Now, uh, if you uh, have been watching uh, the news of from Indonesia, you can see that after the end of the Ramadan, the the the, the COVID is actually uh, climbing up. Here we can see uh, Brother Wen Han is here uh, doing the translation. He is very important because he, he is always in the background to do the translation for Master. I've been to many countries, but uh, this uh, Indonesians 
impressed me a lot because it's it's so wide. The the our our campus there is so big. When I was there, the way they 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 do the the chair, uh, is so uh quiet and uh, very etiquette. You know that I am a little bit uh, uh, pretty humorous, but when I was there, I couldn't do that because they don't understand my hint. But I'm still very appreciate that uh, we are so grateful. Uh, wherever we go, we have a Chiji home to go. Especially through our Dai TV, that all the four missions uh, are able to spread out in different countries, especially in Indonesia. So let's take a look at what uh, Brother um, Wen Han going through. He's so young and so cute and uh, always keep doing the translation. Let's welcome him to join us. We'd like to be with you uh, because you have positive energy. Hello, hello, Wen Han. Can you hear us? Okay, okay, I can hear you now. Okay, the stage is yours. Tell us about the compilation and editing in Indonesia. Thank you, thank you, uh, Sister Mayun. I I'm so appreciate that you uh, put up all these clips so touching. The tenth anniversary. I couldn't even re uh, remember those uh, uh, short period of of uh, performance. I'm so uh, grateful to be here to share with you uh, about my uh, experience in Suji. You can see the picture is uh, in 2001. And the other one is uh, last year. I'm glad that uh, there are uh, all the missions are uh, uh, completed in in Indonesia and giving me so much uh, opportunities to learn and grow. I joined uh, the uh, humanistic mission in 2008. At that time, uh, uh, Dai TV has already uh, launched for three years. And they're just preparing to start the broadcasting of live wisdom. So I think I am a little bit interested in Chinese and had a little understanding of Buddhism. So I started to do the translation. At that time, it's not only translation, but I have to learn to edit the picture and add subtitles and so on. Also, uh, uh, live wisdom is broadcasted every day. Uh, I need to take shifts on weekend also. And now I'm grateful that I have a team already, so I don't have to be on duty so often. But I still uh, kind of miss that period. Uh, besides the live wisdom, we have also started broadcasting uh, 
morning Dharma talk. In there, I remember that the first series was uh, the Sutra of Medicine Buddha. Later, I translated Dharma as water, and now uh, we are still translating Master Chen Yan's teachings on the Lotus Sutra, which is the ongoing job, actually. Not to mention uh, stories told by Master Chen Yan and Essence of the Modern Mind. And I just confirmed with our colleagues that uh, as of today, we have already aired 5,260 episodes of Live Wisdom and more than 600 episodes of Morning Dharma Talk. We also do many translations of Jin Shi books. Uh, it, it's already translated more than a thousand of them. I'm so grateful for our CEO, Auntie Su Mei, transferring me to the branch to take on more responsibility and to face more, even more great, greater challenges and have more opportunities to learn. But today is also uh, an opportunity for me to do the reflection. Trans translation work is just a te technology is advanced. Google can translate. However, after so many years, how are we different from Google? Functionally, translation is just translation. We can learn, but the machine can learn also. So it can in increase its vocabulary and the technology will get closer to our human capability, even faster. I remember sometimes we make mistakes, like grateful would be translated into impressed, and impressed would be translated into grateful. But I think personally that the difference between us and the Google is the spirit. Which means that Google is always a, just a machine. We input text and it translates for us. Although it's all, all, always learning and the quality is getting better. But as human, we keep learning and we are getting better too. But if we can, we don't just stop there. Otherwise, we will be just like Google. So we cannot just stop at the at the functions uh, uh, step stage. I also share with my colleagues when we translate the article or passage, we should ask ourselves. How much do we know about this passage? We can learn uh, from listening and reading, but we really understand the meaning, the true meaning. Do we understand the spirit of the speaker or the writer? I think that's very important. That's the first one. We not only want to help to express their words or convey their message, but we also need to convey their spirit. I keep reminding this myself, it's really not easy. So I think we need to uh, exercise our altruist, altruistic potential, not only by learning, but we need to absorb the Dharma. We can learn, we can absorb the Dharma also. I remember more than 10 years ago when Master uh, told us to be vegetarian in the uh, morning Dharma talk. I I didn't uh, uh, eat vegetarian yet. And our director told me 
The master has always called on everyone to be vegetarian. When you translate master's teaching, you must start with yourself. So translate the work will be more, more meaningful. So I started uh, being vegetarian. I make a vow. But after 15 years, I'm still so fat. But I'm great that, that I want to share this experience and convey this spirit with everyone. Of course, being a vegetarian is one thing. Of course, for this, uh, to, to be vegetarian is one thing, but we still need to. Uh, it seems that we have some problem with the connection. Your time almost up. I am so grateful that I have this opportunity to give and have so many uh, virtuous companions so we can uh, try to exercise our altruistic potential. And I hope our potential can be the bridge of the, the spiritual, our spiritual work, so that the Chiji spirit can be can spread uh, in wider in the world. I'm so glad I have the chance to share with you. Thank you so much that I can check my own life inventory. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a proud for him. We can see this young man has grown so much and, and so much affection. Uh, maybe a little bit a uh, problem with the connection at the last moment. But it's okay because we know our heart is connected. Yeah, you know that after knowing that we must be vegetarian, then we start right away. That's important. Just like uh, what I did before, because I was hosting uh, in a ceremony and I was telling the master said, uh, we must be vegetarian. So then I started to be vegetarian at that time. So at the end, we found that it's not really so hard to be vegetarian. Now you mentioned about the technology, Google. Sometimes we feel it's, it's very uh, useful, but we still need to uh, put the, 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 the good translation and spirit into uh, our work. Uh, Sister Mei Yu is our uh, translation team also in Japanese too. Oh, this is one of the sentences that she asked us to translate into Vietnamese. Then, Sister Chou Yu from Thailand uh, used Google to translate into Vietnamese and and then she, she asked, say, is it correct? Just like uh, 
Brother Wen Han said, "Human are still very important in the translation work." So language is not the problem. We can always fill the the bridge of for communication. Sister from Kaohsiung said, "You are、uh, you have so much、uh, affection to do the job. Thank you so much. You're a very good、uh, young man." From many China, we have some good words for you too. You can read the English too in the Facebook.